name's Grandad. Hello everybody and welcome back to this week's vlog. We've got a new crew member this week, uh, Mark from Titan Boat Canopies. Carl from Titan came out a few weeks ago and did the scanning for the new pram cover. And when he was here he, he stuck these yellow stickers onto the boat and that just tells Mark exactly where the, the fixing brackets are going to go so he can then just drill through and line that up for so that the pram hood fits in the right place. And I want to just take a minute to thank everyone at Titan Boat Campies. Um, they've done an excellent job, we're really pleased with it. Um, it's been quite good fun today and we're just, we're just really pleased. After a little yep. chat, a bit of banter, a cup of tea, he was ready to crack on. And I really want to thank him for letting us film today. Um, it's not an easy thing for to be filmed while you're no. doing something. No, no, you, it's really off-putting, really. It's now a YouTube sensation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So he said he's available for weddings, <laughs> for funerals, for <laughs> yeah. yeah. All that. I hate being filmed, but... No, I do. And guaranteed with me, I'll be doing something absolutely fine. As soon as I'm filmed, I do it wrong. Makes you change me being filmed with my clothes on. Hope the volume's not on. <laughs> I might keep that bit in. Some of the fixings yeah. are riveted down and some are screwed in. The ones that are screwed in, we've um, had no sealant put underneath those because we want to be able to take them off to paint the boat. So that's why there's no sealant under these. The ones that are riveted, um, Mark was able to put some sealant underneath yeah. because we can't get them off anyway. So we'll be painting around those um, best we can and on the studs we may uh, like paint over yeah I think he said we can yeah. do that chip in the paintwork weren't Mark and it weren't me it weren't it no I don't know who did that it must have that been that was you I think it was one of your friends that came around and got <laughs> it was granddad yeah it was
got thick, thick gauge steel on this boat. Yeah, we have. Is it six on the sides? Ten on the bottom? Yeah, they're, uh, they're not skimp. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, ten on the base, six on the so six like on the bottom, five tank. on the top. Yeah. Some of the old Polish boat built yeah. boats, the older ones. I'll then drill them and get through drill bits because they used to make some of the older boats out of um, the old armoured vehicles. Did they? Wow. 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 Which is alright for them, yeah. but not for me trying to drill it. <laughs> Have you ever fallen in? Once. Have you? Couldn't do it in the heart of summer. No, it'd be a refreshing change. Had to be in the middle of winter. We couldn't be in a four foot deep marina, it had to be in a 15 foot deep river. Really windy today so it's picking up a lot of uh, the wind noise on the mic but also you'll see the canopy flapping later treated okay waterproofing and that they doesn't last forever so they recommend that every sort of 12 months I'm properly cleaned and retreated either do it yourself or there are companies that will do it using some really strong double-sided tape um, to tape all the areas where the canopy is going to sit, the edge of the canopy, um, to hold it in place while he fixes it.
should have a clipboard. Action. <laughs> It was obvious from the start of the job he knew exactly what he was doing and I think he might have fitted one or two of these in the past because um, yeah he made it look so easy and I don't think it and I think you'll agree it, it ain't an easy job but he has made this look so easy took his time and he wasn't going to do anything and secure it in place until he was 100% happy it was right Do they shrink much? Our one in Australia really they shrunk. When they're wet. Yeah. Okay. But then they contract again when they dry. Yeah. But it'll, it'll, it'll settle it. It'll give. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So always try and keep your fixings on. Get people they live the this but if they're fixing it on the doors like on cruiser boats yeah they leave them off for months and months and months and it gets wet yeah expands contracts and, and then, and then they go again yeah six months the farmer fixes it home. but yeah. if they actually soak it again they'll put that give back into it again yeah put the fixings on yeah and let it dry, Don't dry. Once all the canopy was in place, Mark could then um, rivet all the stud, like press studs in, um, done the four corners first and um, just got everything laying straight and then he could work his way around the rest of the boat.
Yeah. Say again, mate. Are you going to be putting grip on the roof? Yeah, certain bits, I think. Don't put it on the hatch. No. Why? Because as you're sliding it, the door, it'll start yeah. wearing away your PVC. Yeah, it's just okay. going to be on the, on the main you, roof. You won't be ever standing on the hatch. Yeah. No. When you're famous, just think about it. I will. I'm going to make my first milk. <laughs> I'm more expensive than Ronaldo, you know.
Well, that's a surprise. Not sure if the one would, is the one on the roof stayed on. That light blue. Did you have to put any on that? No. All right. Down the sides, I've had to. walls <laughs> good for us but not for you <laughs> Persevere.
I'm glad you had them rounded brackets. They look really nice. Yeah. yeah. The, 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 the bed purpose for this. Yeah. For the, that style of rail. We're really impressed with all the fixings they used. Really good quality, chunky. Yeah. We've got an armour plated boat. <laughs> One thing about having this put on before we do the painting, yeah. we can mark out the same shape that canopy runs for the panel there. Yes. Yeah. So I was going to do it to match the side of the, um, for the shape of the steel. Yes. But when the canopy's on, you can actually see where it needs the, to go. Uh, the binding line. Yeah. Right. Yeah, drill it, grab it, pop it, and then go in reverse, and it spits it out. Yeah. I always check the chuck top. It's not so bad here. Yeah. So you're working on the water. You just... I've yeah. lost a few of them. Yeah. Clears up lot. Oh, you gotta clean your mess up. <laughs> Mum brought me up well. Just a few finishing touches and then it's done. Um, these are just uh, the pieces that wrap around the bars just to protect the windows from the bars, really. Yes. Can see it? Yeah. The frame needs to sit like that, so the sew edge runs along the top. Right. Same with that. I'm not running with the sew edge. Yeah, I'll see it there, yeah. And same with the back. Yes. Now these straps, that takes tension off. Yeah. And when you do them up, put them through the buckles, through the back of the middle slot. You've got three slots, that's your gripper, and through the front at the bottom. And then ratchet up till it sits. Sits on there. And then tuck that under there. Yeah. Bring it down. 
pinch it, slot it through the top slot, just tidies it up. Right, so flapping. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, that's, that's what it is, I'll show you on this panel. Because you can actually put the whole canopy up from inside the boat. Right. You should never need to go on the outside to fit it. Right. So if you're going to drop it, yes. Okay. For a quick collapse, yeah. if you're going under a bridge, yeah, you can yeah. put it straight back up. Under wheeze it. I'm going to undo this zip anyway to show you how to put a panel back on. It's the same principle on all of them. Okay. But under your zips about there. That one. Your door. Door. Under your doors. To about here. Or here. Yeah. Or. Roll them up, yes. ideally. Yeah. If you know you're going to be coming to a bridge. Yeah. Okay. Undo all your fixings to that corner. All your poppers. poppers. All the poppers. Yeah. All of them. But leave them back corners last. Yeah. So undo your back doors, your quarters down there, your front panel. Undo your straps. Yeah. And the whole thing will just collapse forward right. to about here. Yeah. Which gives you allow to steer through. Yeah, yeah. And then just grab the back frame. Yeah, pull it, pull back, it back up. Yeah, pop it up. these back on first. The back corners, right? Because yeah. none the of these all fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. All your panels are all off. Right. Yeah, they're all on top. Yes. It's the same. The advantage with the back one is you can put your arm through there. Okay. Yes. But your zips put tension in the panel. Right. So when you put it back, you can tell you've taken all the sides out and the yeah. windows out to just have a sunroof. One zip on this one. Now you can split it in half. That actually disconnects on that half if you want. Right. So put your zip on, start it to here. Yeah. Same with any panel you're doing. Do your top to here. Then lean through. Put your fixing on. Yeah. Now what I do, because once you've got you can't get round at it, is then finish that zip off on these ones. So you yeah. put your arm through, finish it off, put your velcro over. And then what you do the way back. And it's the same principle with all these. I'll pop this one off and show you. Them sides, don't we? So just lean, you can unpop it to there. Yes, yes. Lean through, pop it on, pop it on. Then finish your zip top. Okay? Yeah. And that's basically about it. Yeah. 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 But if you've taken the if you've taken it off at all, yeah. putting all the frames back up again. Yes. Right. When you get the canopy on. Put your two poppers in that front corner. You've got no sides in, you're putting all your top back on. Yeah. First thing is, put these corners on. Yes. Just put them on the two poppers for now. Yeah. On there, lift it up. You saw, did you see me putting the cover on? Yeah. That frame in, Velcro round, that, that frame in, and then the back last. Yeah. Pop your corners on. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got your four corners on. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Then ratchet your straps up. So your frame sits there. Do that one first. Yes. So it sits there. Then link that frame, because that frame won't come back this way, the front one, because you strapped it's it down. There. Yeah. And then ratchet it up until They're in line it's on just that. running along the sewage. Yeah. yeah. And that will keep your roof nice and tight yeah. and the right shape. Yeah, okay, mate. And I'd say that's about it. Absolutely brilliant. My first class job in that. Yeah, I even made it look as I knew what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> you did, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And that's perfect for the tiller to come through, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The way you go, yeah. There you go. If you can tell it stays here, just... Yeah. Happy days, mate. Marvellous job, isn't it? Pretty cool. Yeah, really good. Yeah, it is. It's all nice and tight. It's proper, isn't it? There's no movement to it. Can't wait to paint the boat now. Yeah. Order. Yeah. Yeah. Try and have your, don't have your pins poking out too far on the windows. Yes. These weren't touching anyway. Yeah. Otherwise they stick into the into window. That. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, mate. Really, they're, they're the, that's the only one you've got to worry about, really. That yeah. one and that one. That one, that one. But yeah, that is brill. Brill. Oh, I'm really pleased. Oh, I've got to you've go done a good door. job. Thank you very much. We can sort that one out, mate. I've got the canopies on. Big doors off.
Yeah. I know, that's what I'm just thinking, that's the same thing. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. Yeah. 